Protogen X34 just dropped. Let's check it out. What's up, world? Stop here begging with another video. And today we're checking out Protogen X34 as it just dropped. A lot of people are talking about this model. It's all over Reddit. Where so people are talking about. Let's get into it. Let's jump into it. And this is the pro. So basically, it's Protogen 2.2 combined with a bunch of other models like Robo Diffusion, Open Journey, Analog Diffusion, and RPG V2. This is kind of like a accumulation of all these models together and bringing these kind of photorealistic RPG elements to these images. And they came out really well in this example prompting here. And a bunch of people are having a lot of success with this. They're having a lot of good prompts here. A lot of good images that are coming out from it. So I gave it a dabble. And I had a bunch of different prompts that I ran through last night and this morning. And I'm going to show you those now. Okay, but really quick, I want to show you where you can download these models and how to get the safe tensor version if you don't want the normal version. So on Civit AI and Hugging Face, we'll both have both of those models. Now, in order to access the safe tensor model, you'll have to come here on Civit AI to this little drop down arrow and pick model safe tensor. So if you want to download the safe tensor version of this model, it's that easy. Both of these links are going to be down below in the description, Civit AI and hugging face for both of these both the access to these models now i do like civet ai because of how kind of descriptive it is and you can see people's imagery and stuff like that hugging face is great though i think it has models uploaded first although this particular model got uploaded to civet ai first so it's kind of like a back and forth on which you want to use so these are some of the images that i made from some of my custom prompts and overall i think it did a really good job of just being able to hit the diversity marks here. I was able to make some really, really cool landscapes and some even like battles and stuff like that. I like this looks really, really cool. But even the models themselves came out very, very decent. Now I was having a hard time with blurriness in some of these images. And I was having a hard time with the faces. But overall, it's it's uh, honestly, it was on my prompting and I probably could have done a bit better with it. But just to show for diversity's sake, all of these images came out from this Protogen model and they're really really cool looking especially this dude in the armor and I'll show you a few other ones at the end that I didn't decide to upscale just some of the ones that I decided to upscale and kind of make more of a clearer image even though this one came out a bit of blurry but I'll show you some tips and tricks to kind of get rid of that and some things I learned after doing all of these prompts some of the things that I've learned along the way so let's get into that I'm going to show you the github that I used to learn a lot of these different example prompts and a lot of these different weighted things that will really help you Okay, so now that we're on the GitHub page for the Stable Diffusion, I'm going to have this linked down below. But this is for Stable Diffusion 2.0. It works for everything. But it just, just explains how a different in-painting, out-painting works. Stuff that we're not going to get into. But it also explains weighting with prompts. It explains CFG scale. It explains scaling if you want when you want to upscale it. It explains denoising. It explains phrasing. The weighted phrasing. All the different factors of trying to decrease and increase attention to these models. And all these different words that you can use this is all here and it's just a, such a good tip and tricks kind of page for everything that it really does help and there's so many different things about prompting and all these different resizing things sampling methods you should use so all of that is kind of where I've come to work what my settings are and I'll show you my settings really quickly okay so here we are at settings and usually I like to use Euler A. I mean, it's a pretty common sampler met method, but there's a ton of other ones. DPM++, SDE works really well, SDE Keras works, works really well, uh, DDIM works really well, PLMS works really well. But those are just some of the ones that I use, and I like to range between 60 and 100 steps. There's a lot of people that like to use a lot lower steps so that they can get a far higher batch range, but I do think that the higher steps really does bring in that clarity, so I do like to use a, a lot of a higher steps. Now, my mistakes, I, I think, was using too high of CFG scale. Usually I use around a 12 CFG scale, and sometimes I'll bring it down to about 11 or 10. I should have went around a 9. I recommend around a, nine, a 7 or a 9 for this model. The CFG, for, at least for the faces, they come out a little bit odd unless you lower that CFG scale. I noticed that high res fix and restore faces didn't really work very well at all with for this model. In fact, they kind of came out worse after using them, even with a 0.2 denoising, 0.7 denoising. They both didn't come out very well. So this this you'll have to toy with. I didn't really have any luck with it. For my resolution, I like to do at 640 by 640 for the scaling as far as if I'm just doing like a box, whatever, like just a square. 
square picture. If I want to do an upscaled image for the like either like a 16 by 9 or 16 by 9 or 9 by 16, I will then do my 76 I will do 768 by 512. So those are my two resolutions that I work with and obviously these will be flipped. So those are kind of like my little tips with this model and just all models in general. This is kind of what my workflow is. Now these are just some of the problem images that I had overall. They're not terrible terrible, but some of them came out kind of rough especially in the face area. So I really wish I could use like this this picture's background. I think it came out so well and so nice with these trees and this kind of fog. But the face here is very like kind of deformed and doesn't look right. Now this image isn't anything bad in particular, but I was trying to get that image earlier with the armor, the girl in the armor, and I couldn't do it. So, and I just couldn't get it to come out right it was just looking a bit odd and kind of fully covered so i had to get like the face uncovered and as you see here we had some issues here and then it was you know out of frame and there was a lot of different focus things here and this one the face just it looked a little bit odd to me and so did the armor it didn't really match everything that i was going for and this was too up close so there was a bit i was having a bit of trouble with that one as you can tell here and then i was looking for like this one i don't know why it came out so like it did but because there was nothing in there about how it looks it was more like a business lady in the city some of these things happen i think this was with ddim and ddim likes to sometimes bring that out but overall they, like this one I, I i typed in old timey and it brought in an old granny i don't know but it, it was kind of funny i didn't upscale it because it, it the face looks a little odd and the eyes you can't see overall these were some of my problem images and as you can tell it, it does take a little while to get from this to where we were earlier and i just wanted to show off some of the problems that you can have along the way and things that'll happen because it's not just you people you know getting these prompts to work it does take a long time to kind of get the wording correct and just work with everything so that also be sure to check out the stable diffusion subreddit it is one of the places that i use for a lot of the tips and a lot of the prompting stuff i don't try to steal because i like to do my own thing but if you want to use example promptings a lot of the stuff is here and it's actually how i learned about protogen 34 is that I came here and I saw a bunch of people posting about it. In fact, here's an example of one of them that the workflow is included. And this will tell you exactly how to get this almost exact image. A lot of the times the seed exactly isn't the same and stuff like that, but you can get it fairly close to how this is exactly set up. And people will post how they've got theirs and what it looked like and how it came out. So it actually looks pretty cool. And there's even like an option to add uh, cosplay to it. Be sure to check this place out. It has a lot of useful tips. But if you guys enjoyed the video, I really appreciate a like and subscribe it really does help out the channel a ton and i'm trying to get these ai videos going it's been a little rough start but i do think that this will eventually pick up and if not i'll venture into something else i just like to put like i said what i'm passionate about i put on the channel so if you could stick around for what's next i'd appreciate it i got more videos coming out soon and until the next one deuces